API stands for Application Programming Interface. APIs enable easier and more standardized delivery of services and data. The massive growth of APIs can be difficult to manage without a well-defined API strategy. API management is crucial in any modern organization these days and more so in the cloud. Google Cloud's API management offerings are comprehensive, but at the same time, quite confusing. In this video, I'm going to explain what API management services are available by Google in GCP and which when to use when. Let's get introduced to what API management services are available from GCP. We have three services. The first one is API Gateway. API Gateway is a fully managed service that enables developers to create, secure, and monitor APIs for services built on top of Google Cloud. These are mainly designed for serverless workloads, and API Gateway makes it very easy to manage APIs for Cloud Functions, Cloud Run, and App Engine. Cloud Endpoints, which is another service for API management, it uses an Nginx-based proxy. Cloud Endpoints is a user-managed service, whereas API Gateway is a fully managed service. And that's the main difference. Both of them support the same open API definition format. And another difference between these two is that API Gateway can route a request to multiple backends, but Cloud Endpoints can route traffic only to a single backend. APG is another API management service from GCP. APG is GCP's API management product that enables organizations to build, manage, and secure APIs at large scales. And for most of the use cases, environments, or any type of scale and workload. APG lets you operate in any environment of your choice, whether it is Google Cloud, on-premises, or hybrid environment. APG also includes advanced enterprise capabilities. Okay, so this was a quick overview of these three services from GCP. Now let's see which one to use at inver invert situation. Let's go with the APG first. APG is valuable for organizations who have very high API volume, a need for reliability and enterprise grade security or the organizations which rely on APIs exposed to third parties or partners as part of their business. This is very useful for enterprises for multi-cloud environments. If the goal is to ensure API uptime, performance, and security in spite of unexpected traffic spikes or growing malicious attacks, then APG is the way to go. Second one is API Gateway. API Gateway is optimal for cloud native use cases where the target backends are limited to services deployed on GCP. These are for very specific API use cases to package serverless applications like cloud functions and app engine, etc. API Gateway is useful for small to medium sized enterprise or business. Then we have cloud endpoints. Cloud endpoint service is managed by users instead of GCP, and they can only use one backend. Cloud endpoints is most useful when you want to host the API gateway on your own runtime with private networking, but would like the same kind of control plane features that you enjoy with API gateway. The most common use case for cloud endpoint today is with gRPC services, where a developer wants to locally host the gateway with their project. This can be useful if you'd like to run and test the cloud endpoint on your own local machine during development. These are useful for individuals or small businesses. So in summary, if you're running complex or high scale applications, then use APG. If you're just using serverless services like Cloud Run, then use API Gateway. And for your local testing in your own private network, go for the cloud endpoints. I hope this was useful. If you have any comments or feedback, please put them in the comments. Thank you.